Hey, hey, it's me, YouTube Marco's World, all things professional wrestling in my life. I post three times a week, once off camera, twice on camera. I did twice on camera this week. I am traveling, but here we go. Here we go. We have the Elimination Chamber. What do we think about the two winners, YouTube? Um, we have Becky Lynch that won the Women's Elimination Chamber match, and we have Drew McIntyre. Yes, Drew McIntyre has won the Elimination Chamber match. And what I feel about this is um, with Drew McIntyre, he is a good replacement. Let's just be all the way real. We all know that CM Punk was supposed to face, yes, he was supposed to face Seth Rollins for the title. But um, unfortunately, CM Punk has got injured, as we all are aware. Um, Drew McIntyre, we all know that he hasn't had his moment yet. Um, he hasn't had his moment yet with winning the title, the big title in the big crowd. Um, he did win during the COVID era, but he didn't win. He didn't win with the live crowd. So hopefully Drew McIntyre has his moment. Um, him and Seth Rollins, I am confident that they will do well. We know that they have chemistry. We know that they are both good wrestlers. So um, I am not worried at all that that will be a great WrestleMania match um, with Drew McIntyre. What will happen if he captures gold? Will he remain this heel? Will he become this face kind of character that becomes humble and grateful that he won the title? It seems like he is very upset at CM Punk, his character. It seems like Drew McIntyre likes to brag. It seems like Drew McIntyre is just, I, I don't know, maybe he's tired of being overlooked. Maybe that's what his character is. Maybe he's not even a heel all the way. Maybe he's just tired of being overlooked and he's annoyed. We all know those people at work that just hate going to work, who hate their job and think, you know, who think that they're being overlooked. So maybe that's his gimmick right now. He hates his job. And he thinks he's being overlooked, but he can't do that anymore since he won the Elimination Chamber and got an opportunity and it's going to Mania. So I wonder what they're going to do next with his character because he got the opportunity now. He needs to rise for the rise on the occasion now. Is he going to win the title? That's what is next with Drew and his character. New storyline is probably needed because he can't complain anymore. Becky Lynch, let's talk about her. Becky Lynch has won the Women's Elimination Chamber match. Um, no surprise there. Um, I wanted the EST to win. Bianca Belair, I did hear the rumors that she'll face Tiffany. I did not want that for her. They're already going down this road where Bianca is starting to slowly but surely not be the forefront anymore. So, um... Maybe with the Hulu show and all the baby talking they have as a storyline, you know, WWE not really booking her for title matches. Maybe they're slowly but surely trying to put her in the back burner so she can have her baby that they keep talking about on the show. Who knows? Who knows? Um, I will say with Becky Lynch winning, um, she is a good competitor. I respect Becky Lynch. She is someone that's been around for a while now, and it's kind of hard to say that because I remember when she was new in NXT. I remember the four horse women when they had that NXT match. I remember when Sasha Banks, yes, Sasha Banks won that title when she pinned, um, I think she pinned Charlotte Flair with the crucifix pin. That was a good match them four horse women had. Um, I remember when she was very popular in SmackDown. She was the first woman drafted Becky Lynch. I guess that was in 2017 or 16. So it's almost been a decade since that happened. So that being said, Becky Lynch has been around for a while. She's very loved. Did she need this win? No, she did not need this win. Um, Becky Lynch had a lot of moments. She even had a WrestleMania moment. Raquel could have used this W. Liv could have won on her revenge tour. I guess the revenge tour continues and she didn't really get revenge and she lost. Um, so um, Bianca Belair, she also didn't need this win, I guess, because she is someone that is a star. I'm just worried about her booking, if they're trying to put her in the back burner or if this is something that she requested. But I don't know. I don't know. 
Becky Lynch winning. This is another accomplishment that she can check off her list. Am I happy for Becky? Of course, I'm happy for her. Do I think that she will put on a nice WrestleMania match? Yes. Will she win the title? More than likely. I mean, has it been a year? Wait a minute. Did Becky Lynch? No. Did Rhea defeat Charlotte last year for the title? Okay. I think um, it's been a full year if um, Rhea retains at WrestleMania because I do believe she won the title at WrestleMania by defeating Charlotte Flair. Not sure if it was last year or the year before, but I do believe it was last year. I don't think she had the title for two years now, but time does go by fast, so it could be two years. But um, with that being said, I can see Becky defeating Rhea at WrestleMania. That is the biggest show of them all. So if they don't do it there, where else would they do it? But um, this is Markel's World. Thank you so much, YouTube. See, this is just for you, YouTube. I said the weekend edition. I'll see you guys on the next video. Subscribe. Peace.